Hey guys, it's Epic Underworlds, and in this video, I'm going to be doing a battle video of my old card game, Epic Underworlds 2.0. This is the one I'm not currently making, but is still going on, so I thought I'd do an epic battle video with my Ogre deck versus King Froggy, who is my opponent's reach point spam deck, which is kind of a modified version that he has created. So yeah, I'm trying to get my um, game, Epic Underworlds 2.0, back in the works. I'm going to be adding more cards, and yeah, just bring it back in general. So enjoy this battle video, and let me know if you guys have any questions. So I am on the bottom with my ogre deck created by Stranded, which like he drew all the ogres. And then Froggy is on the top with his reach point spam. So he played a card that let him gain a point. And then I played my ice card, which basically lets me summon a 1-1 one, one token card when played. And then I also play my ogre sorcerer, which when killed, I basically have to look the top card of my deck. And if it's an ogre, I, to get, I get to add five um, points to my underworld gate. Then Froggy plays a shock staff, which lets him bring the top card of his deck back and then he plays a possessed potato which basically has every keyword and a cursed stump he then plays fr a frostbite which basically will slowly kill my dilo the feared and uh yeah so that's that pretty much sucks he then replays his the one orb which gives him another point because he played shock staff to bring it back which is a nice little combo and then he attacks directly and gains another point if you didn't know you don't basically damage your opponent, you just gain points. First 12 wins. Then he kills my Ogre Sorcerer. I peep at the top card in my deck, and it was an Ogre, so I do get to add plus 5 to my Underworld Gate. And once my Underworld Gate gets 12, I get to add a little card from my side deck to play, which those cards are pretty good. I then play an Ogre Brute, which has 7 attack, which is pretty good, and I can easily kill his Curse Dump. But... He cancels, or no, he doesn't cancel that. He gains a point with that ability, and um, he also gains a point because when Cursed Stump is killed, he gains a point. So he's already at 5 to 4. He's beating me, and uh, yeah. So Frostbite is slowly ticking down. He then plays a Frozen Spearman, which has the ability Reach, which just allows him to attack directly without having to go through my creatures. I kill that Frozen Spearman with my Ogre Brute, and then I attack directly for twice for 2 points. It is now 8 to 6. Or sorry, 6-6, six to six, because I was at 4. My Dial of the Hunter is not looking good, and he already plays another Frostbite card, which will slowly kill my Ogre Brute, who only has 3 life. Um, he might have a lot of attack, but not as much life. I do have quite a lot of cards in my hand, but I can only have 3 creature slots. So I play another Ogre Brute and attack directly for 3 points. It's now 9-6. to six. Not looking too good for King Froggy. I pass the turn. He draws his card. And by the way, usually these games aren't that quick. I just did a lot of editing. But he plays a Frozen Spearman and attacks directly. He is now 7 to 9. First to 12 wins. Okay, it's now my turn, and I get a pretty lucky pull because I draw my card, and it's Grapple Gun, which basically returns target creature in play to its owner's hand. And I was going to attack Frozen Spearman, but now that I can do this, I can attack directly for 3 points, which is exactly what I needed to gain 12 and win. And that is this match of Epic Underworlds. Thank you guys so much for watching, and please comment down below if you want to see more of these, because if you guys comment, I will do more of these. And uh, plus, battle videos for Underworlds TCG, which is my newer card game, will come up eventually. We just need to get past the playtesting stage. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.